Let's hunt some pennies. How's everybody doing today? Lake House Beach here. And yeah, so I was running some errands today and I figured what the heck. Let's pick up a box of pennies and maybe we can find something cool. So yeah, I didn't see any enders, but as you guys know, that doesn't mean much. So let's dig into this and maybe we can find something cool. All right, guys, I was getting super worried and let me show you guys why. I am over halfway through the box and I'm finally on the board with my first wheat penny. 1952D, but we'll definitely take it. I did pick up a few, um, you know, more recent year Canadians and a couple nice 2009s. And then this is just a really nice 1961D, so I pulled that aside too. So finally, we're on the board with one wheat penny. We're on roll number 26. So hopefully this box gets better from here on out and I'll definitely let you guys in on the next find. All right guys, a few rolls later, roll number 30. It was almost an ender and it's not date side up. So let's see what it is. It actually looks like it was a uh, Doug metal detecting. What? What? Are you kidding me? Guys, let me focus on that. 1909. Holy crap, I don't have any, I don't even care that it looks like that. Holy crap. Sorry guys, but wow. 1909. Are you serious? Hold on guys. Alright, that's that's crazy guys. A 1909, there is no mint mark or anything like that. It's not the VDB. But wow. That is the earliest, obviously the earliest Lincoln you can get, but that's awesome. That's gonna fill a spot in my book, at least for now and until I can find a better looking one, but sweet. That is definitely the earliest find of the box. We're on the board with two wheat pennies, guys. A 1952D and a 1909, and I actually want to look through the rest of this roll live. That was almost an ender, too. Wow. I'm honestly freaking out. I know, I know it's not worth much because of the condition, but that's still cool to find. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find a... Oh, we got another one in the roll. kind of crusty on that side but it is a 1954 s nice I might not have that let's see what else there is so this box is definitely getting better guys this is awesome so sweet we got three wheat pennies so far we still got two full rolls left so let's see what else we can find Alright, so very next roll, roll number 31, and we have a wheat right here, let's see what the date is, whoa, dude, there's two wheats in a row, whoa, what, this one is a 1953D, and this one's actually in decent condition, a 1935 wow th this is actually a really good box in my opinion I mean quality over quantity guys I honestly don't care if I find anything else in this box but we're up to five wheat pennies in the box so far and we still have 19 rolls left so I think we're gonna be able to squeeze out a few more cool things and actually I'm gonna hunt this live real quick because I had two in a row that was crazy. Alright, curse of the camera guys. You know how it goes. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright guys, so we got 
weedy number six and we're on roll 44 so we're almost done with the box and it was date side up and it's a 1941 so not a bad find there and real quick let's just skim through this and see if we can find anything else nothing guys see you guys on the next one all right guys so that does it for the box um i'm gonna say that it actually wasn't that bad considering we found that 1909 so give me a minute here and we'll get you guys a wrap up all right so we actually didn't do too bad for ourselves we actually had two 2009s that actually were in pretty good condition so i kept those aside and then we had three really nice album pennies. One was a 1959D, a 1960P, and a 1961D. So those are actually pretty nice looking pennies right there. And then as far as uh, foreigns go, we had four Canadian pennies ranging from 1975 to 1997. And our wheat penny count was six. And we had a 1935, a 1941, a 1952D, a 1953D, and a 1954S. And obviously, guys, the find of the box was finding that really crusty 1909 Philadelphia first year Lincoln scent. That is awesome. Wow. I still can't believe that, but... I'm glad I could share that with you guys, and uh, that was obviously the fun at the box. So we had six wheats, four foreigns, three nice older album pennies, and two 2009s. So not very many wheats, but we had some earlier dates, and we had that 1909. So I think it was a pretty good box overall, guys. And uh, thank you so much for joining me on another video. I really appreciate it. And like always, guys, this has been Lake House Beach. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.